is convocation still? If I defer to February, can I still partake in the June? Can I still make appointments at the CBC after I I'm Brian, I'm your alumni relations officer. I'm here with Ursula today and we're gonna be asking each other questions about convocation and beyond to help you be more prepared. This is a good one. I wanted a chance to say goodbye to my friends at CAP. How can I do that now? All right, this is a really tough one. Um, I have been a student at CAP uh, for six years because I was in a different program before business and I've also been working there for two. And so definitely know a lot of people at CAP. I spent so much time there and it is really sad. Like you feel like you're leaving, you don't get that chance to say goodbye. Um, this is a really good time to join that alumni network, I think because your friends are gonna be in it, people you graduate with this year, people graduated the year before, after you, and they do have meetups. And so when this is all over, I'm sure it's gonna be so cool going to an alumni event and getting to catch up then. Um, so finding ways you can really continue those friendships and relationships, obviously keep in touch with those people and then you can plan your own get togethers. But if alumni plan something really fun and big, it's great that you can all go together. So get involved there and stay in touch with your friends. Maybe do a little Zoom call or a chat or something after convocation and just chat and celebrate together. Something fun like that. How can I be productive during this time to improve my career prospects? All right, so obviously we're still really busy with um, courses and personally I am working from home on top of doing class from home. And so I have been really, really busy, but I've kind of like started making a list for as soon as all my assignments are done this week, what I'm gonna be doing to stay productive um, and make myself more employable, I guess, if that makes sense. And what I've been doing is kind of looking at all the jobs that I'm interested in, the industries I'm interested in, and looking at um, job descriptions out there and at different like people's LinkedIn profiles. And so I am still applying for jobs, but I'm also looking at what kind of skills they're looking for, what kind of skills people in that industry have, um, specifically ones that I don't have yet. And so making a list of things that I want to improve upon, things I want to learn, and finding courses online that are free to do during this time. Um, so that's a great option, would recommend, and I think it's just super helpful during this time. You can just like sit around and that's totally fine. Um, or you can take this time to make yourself an even better candidate for your dream job. And then whether it's this month or in a few months um, that the place you wanna work is hiring, you're just gonna have a way better shot because you have more of what they're looking for and so it just never hurts. And then it also keeps you busy and it's kind of fun. And I know we're really excited to stop, not stop learning, but like stop taking classes right now. But I think when it's something you're actually passionate about um, and that is really focused what you wanna do, there's just a different level of drive and excitement about it. So that's what I'm doing, but do it if you want to. <laughs> what can I do to stay motivated during this time? For me, staying motivated in this time, a lot of things involve kind of just maintaining a normal schedule is a big one. Um, so getting up early, walking my dog, um, I get to make like much nicer breakfast right now, which is nice because I have a bit more time. And then setting aside hours for work and hours for school has been really, really helpful. I obviously did do that right at the start, but I kind of realized like, oh, I'm not being as productive. I'm just getting a little too dragged down by this. And so that's one thing I did. And then as well, I'm just making different kinds of lists of things I want to do. And so um, I love to cook. And so I've been making like a list of like all the recipes I want to master to like restaurant level perfection. I love really good food and I want it to be so good every time. So figuring out all the things I want to learn to cook. And then um, I've been making like a list of projects for when I'm done classes here, um, like sewing projects, art projects, all these different things that I never had time before, but um, now I have the time. And so no excuse anymore. I get to learn new things. Um, I have two fun projects around the house, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, that's keeping me pretty motivated because I'm actually really excited to work on those. How do I know if places are still hiring? This is a very tough one. <laughs> uh, a lot of places aren't actually telling you that they're not hiring if it's frozen. Um, there is that list I mentioned before going around on LinkedIn that says kind of, it's just a list basically of Canadian companies that are still actively hiring during this time. Um, another thing, some businesses are listing um, on their site that they are 
actively hiring. Otherwise, if you don't hear anything, it might be because they are frozen and um, they're hiring, they're frozen, they're hiring for a little while. And maybe you will hear something in a month or two. It's hard to say, um, but just keep persisting and keep applying and you never know what great things could come of it. So just try to remain positive and keep applying um, and watch those application deadlines. And if there is no deadline, still try and get it in really quickly because I know I personally um, spent some time on it before thinking I had longer and a job got pulled the day before I was gonna apply just because I, I wasn't fast enough. And so there could be places that are still actively hiring and you think you have more time than you do. So just try and make sure you're putting in the effort and making it high quality, but you're still getting it in as quickly as you possibly can. Should I even bother applying for jobs when so many businesses are in a hiring freeze? <sighs> My answer is yes. Um, <laughs> Personally, I've always looked at it as like the only way you're for sure not gonna get it or you're gonna get a no is if you don't try. Um, if you don't apply right now, you're definitely not gonna get the job. But if you apply, you still have a shot. Even if a place is in a hiring freeze, um, eventually things will unfreeze and you want your name in there. And the thing is, you don't know when it's gonna happen. Some places don't have closing dates on their jobs. I know for a lot of places I applied, that's been the case. And so it's kind of scary because you think like, oh, well, I don't have the time restriction, but you also don't know what day they're going to pull that job down on. So if you're interested in it, apply, definitely apply. Um, as well on LinkedIn, I know there's like a list circulating, you can look it up. And it is a list of companies in Canada that are still currently hiring during these times. Um, so if you're kind of open to different options other than like the exact jobs you're looking at before, which I recommend being open to new opportunities during these times, um, definitely check that out, maybe apply to some new positions, start working on tailoring your resume. Um, the thing is, if you keep applying, every time you apply, find your resume and cover letter just gets so much stronger and you get better at writing it. Um, I know I spend a lot of time with friends, um, like helping each other critique each other's resumes and we're pretty honest with each other, but they get a lot better. So definitely keep working on that. Stay strong. <laughs>